This hack tip is brought to you by Audible. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, network gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morse, and today I am going to show you how to protect your Windows PC from little or big nooblets. Ever let a kid play on your computer innocently, only the find that your PC crashes every few minutes because they accidentally deleted an important file? Or perhaps you just need to prevent users on your network from messing with their machines too much? Happens to me too. Luckily, there are answers to those problems. First off, there is Start Killer, a free and open source program that you can find at Tordex.com. This program does just what it says. It kills the Start button, giving you more free space on your taskbar and removing that button from prying eyes. You could still get into the menu by hitting Control Escape, like so and removing it with Control Escape as well. You can also hide the Start Killer taskbar icon and still access the settings by hitting Control Alt Shift F12. Like this. And under the menu you can do everything right there. Start Killer uses just a bit of a memory and it can still be used on all newer versions of Windows including 64-bit. Number two is Taskbar Eliminator, which will hide your taskbar. This program gives you more space for viewing on your monitor, or it just keeps others from messing with programs sitting on the taskbar. Again, all newer versions of Windows are compatible, and it is free and open source. To use, you simply press and hold Control, Alt, and T to bring up the menu, and it brings up the Preferences window from which all options can be adjusted. Press and hold Alt plus T to immediately show or hide the taskbar directly such as so. Disappears and right back up. It's nice and simple. After the break, I'll show you my very last program to minimize the threat of child plus keyboard. But first, here is a word from our sponsor. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod or MP3 player and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Go over to audiblepodcast.com slash hack5 to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go over to audiblepodcast.com slash hak5 for your free audiobook. And I'm back, and my third choice is KeyTweak. This also free and open source program for Windows will let you disable, enable, remap, or reset key configurations for your keyboard. Do you want to disable caps lock? Who doesn't? Want to make the Windows key functionality disappear before letting little Billy, Darren, play on your PC? That can be done. Key tweak is easy to use. You just pull up the dialog setting box, click on a key you want to mess with, and then choose how you want to change it in the control keyboard control box below. And then click apply and you're done. So I'm going to make sure that this works. I hit my caps lock, which is key 30. Go down to the remapping keyboard controls box choose Disable Key, and click Apply. Restart now, no. So normal typing, and then I hit Caps Lock, and it stays uncapped. Yes! Oh, it's so much nicer that way. Who doesn't want to do that to their Caps Lock? Ugh. All right, that's it. I mean, how easy is that? OK, so I want to hear your feedback. What program or command have you found? Hit me up at tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be over there reminding you to trust your Technolust. <laughs>